Today we remember Raja Mahendra Pratap Singh. Raja Mahendra Pratap was born into the ruling family in Hathras in 1886. In 1914, Raja Mahendra Pratap Singh left his estate to plunge into India's struggle for independence. On the 1st of December 1915, he proclaimed the first provincial government of India outside India at the Bagh-e Babar in Kabul. He declared himself president and his fiery fellow revolutionary Maulana Barkatullah of Bhopal as prime minister of the provincial government. Raja Mahendra Pratap was also deeply involved with the Swadeshi movement and would constantly promote small industries with indigenous goods and local artisans. Deeply influenced by the speeches of Dada Bhai Naroji and Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Mahendra Pratap started the movement to burn foreign-made clothes. Pratap also visited foreign countries in an attempt to obtain support for India in its struggle for freedom. In 1929, Mahendra Pratap launched the World Federation in Berlin. He was nominated for the 1932 Nobel Peace Prize. After almost 32 years in exile, Mahendra Pratap Singh finally returned to India in 1946. In independent India, he entered Lok Sabha from Mathura in 1957. Raja Mahendra Pratap continued to work for the society till his death on the 29th of April 1979. Salute the great nationalist Raja Mahendra Pratap Singh. <laughs> We also remember the freedom fighter Gop Bandhu Chaudhary from Odisha. Gop Bandhu Chaudhary was born in Jagat Singhpur. After his education, he joined the British government as a deputy magistrate. After four years, he resigned from his post of deputy magistrate and decided to spend the rest of his life in the service of the people. Gop Bandhu Chaudhary started participating in the Gandhian programs. He became a member of the Odisha Congress Committee and also a permanent member of the Utkal Samilani. His most significant work in this phase of Gandhian struggle for Swaraj was the establishment of Alakashram in Jagatsingpur in January 1922. He experimented with the Gandhian system of rural reconstruction and education in this ashram. Gopabandhu became a famous leader of the civil disobedience movement and Salt Satyagraha. He was arrested by the British administration in April 1930 and was imprisoned till March 1930. In 1934, Mahatma Gandhi undertook a padyatra in Odisha. Upon Gandhi ji's advice, Gopabandhu set up a base at Bari with his family and a few followers on the 13th of August 1934 and started working for people there. Gopabandhu translated Mahatma Gandhi's biography, My Experiments with Truth, into Odia, Satyara Prayog. Post independence, Gopabandhu became associated with the famous Bhudan movement in the 1950s. He breathed his last on the 29th of April 1958 after a long and eventful career of implementing Gandhian programs in rural Odisha. Salute the great freedom fighter Gopabandhu Chaudhary. We also remember the martyr Indra Bhushan Rai, born in 1890. in district Khulna now in Bangladesh Indra Bhushan was a high school student when he threw a bomb on the mayor of Chandranagar in 1908 later he became a member of the Manikatola Garden Secret Organization and was convicted and sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment in cellular jail in 1909 for his involvement in the Alipur bomb case Indra Bhushan was tortured so much by the British authorities that he committed suicide inside the jail on the 29th of April 1912. Salute the brave son of the country.